What up techies? We are glad to have you back on the channel for everything technology and discovery. It's not a secret that Elon Musk and SpaceX would like to colonize Mars. NASA is also working on Mars exploration. But did you know that China may be ahead of both of them? China has been strangely quiet about its plans for colonizing Mars. But recent developments suggest that the country is serious about becoming a multi-planetary civilization. China's first Mars rover, Tianwen-1, is scheduled to land on the Red Planet in May 2021. And the China National Space Administration has released plans for a permanent base on Mars by 2040. China has also been exploring ways to terraform Mars and has even sent space seeds to the International Space Station as part of an experiment to see how plant life can survive in Martian conditions. While China's plans for Mars are still in the early stages, it is clear that the country is committed to exploration and colonization of the Red Planet. The Chinese have been rapidly expanding their space program. It was 19 years ago that China launched its first astronaut into orbit around the Earth. And in the time since then, the country has risen to become a global leader in space exploration. In contrast, the old guard of America and Russia has largely stagnated. The Chinese pushed forward in the 21st century to establish their satellite infrastructure, implement a robot exploration campaign on the moon, and design and build a brand new space station. Now that China has its sights set on Mars, we are dealing with extraordinarily wealthy and well-resourced competitors working toward the same objective. If everything goes as planned, how might that scenario play out? How does China's concept of Mars stack up against Elon Musk's vision of the Red Planet? It's time for us to have a conversation about it. Let's get ready for a new space race. We'll get started with the Chinese side of things first, mainly due to the fact that the Chinese are not as forthcoming and outspoken about their plans as Elon Musk is about the details. In contrast to Musk, China has already begun developing what might eventually become its Mars base. As a result, China is currently home to not one but two prototypes of Mars bases. The first Mars outpost was established in the Chinese province of Gansu, close to the Gobai Desert, which spans northern Mongolia. This is China's first base designed to simulate conditions on Mars and it looks like something straight out of a science fiction film. The facility was built when the Chinese publicized the Mars base by setting up a reality TV show in which real Chinese astronauts and scientists train celebrities to complete fictional space missions. This was done to draw attention to the construction of the Mars base. It is now used as a center for education and tourism, and its primary purpose is to encourage younger people to think about pursuing a career in the space program so that they can boast about their achievements. They have large, comfortable sleeping quarters, a fancy command center with giant curving screens, wheat crops are grown indoors, and every other amenity one could desire. A Mars-like environment has been recreated outside, and the crew is complete with flashy spacesuits. Mars Base Number 1 is like the hype version of China's space colonizing mission. It's more like a themed hotel than anything else which makes sense if you're going to convince people to fly to Mars with the prospect of dying millions of miles away from home on a cold, red world. The Tianwen rover and orbiter mission are currently underway. Over the next 10 years, a number of additional robotic exploration missions will follow in its footsteps. The collection of samples for scientific analysis and the scouting out of ideal landing sites and potential future base locations will be the primary focuses of China's robotic exploration of Mars. China expects to have gathered all of the necessary data by 2033 when they plan to send the first crewed mission to Mars, and it won't be as simple as planting a flag and then calling it a day. China has a schedule to land people on Mars again in 2035, 2037, and 2041. And while there haven't been many details released, we do know that the Chinese intend to use nuclear-powered spaceships to allow the first crews to travel to Mars, which is an idea that NASA is also exploring. A nuclear thermal rocket engine will have about twice the efficiency of a standard chemical rocket. Plus, an onboard nuclear reactor can provide constant, reliable energy to the crew. This material comprises a network of nanometer-sized tubes made of the hexagonal latticework of carbon atoms. It's all very complicated. The main takeaway is that this material is both incredibly strong and incredibly light at the same time and can support structures that are several miles long. All of this is to say that the Chinese wouldn't even be talking about this stuff if they didn't seriously intend to put many things into space. Elon Musk is working on the same goal. His plan is to use a gigantic, overpowered rocket to get everything up there instead of a spaceship. China has the world's fastest growing major economy with an annual growth rate of 10% for the last 30 years. China is the world's largest manufacturing economy and the world's largest exporter of goods. Half of all metal consumed in the world is consumed in China. And yes, all of this comes at a high cost to both humanity 
and the environment. There are undoubtedly some terrible abuses of human rights and freedoms going on over there, as there are in many parts of the world, including our own home country, the United States, where there is still ongoing and perplexing mistreatment of the poor and growing inequality. However, this will not stop either of our countries from allocating funds to these projects and continuing their space journey. NASA is targeting 2030 as the date when they can move into a new space station that they expect to be built by a private contractor. Though no such construction has begun, we know that China can move quickly, build effectively, and is not afraid of trampling people to get ahead making them a genuine contender to begin populating Mars long before anyone else can do so. With a full head of hair and three fledgling companies under his wings, Musk set out to change the world. By all accounts, Elon Musk's plan should have failed miserably, but it didn't. The man made it happen through sheer force of will. There's no other explanation aside from him being the luckiest son ever to walk the earth. And just in case being the most successful entrepreneur and richest person in the world wasn't enough, he could be China's biggest competition on the trip to Mars. Unfortunately, Elon Musk has kept the details of his current Mars colony very secret until now. We know that his objective is to transport people and things from Earth to Mars. If we successfully create a base on Mars capable of true self-sufficiency, this would mean that even if supplies from Earth were to be cut off permanently, life on Mars could go on endlessly. To achieve this goal, SpaceX is now developing the Starship rocket the first rocket in history to carry more than 100 tons into Earth orbit with a single launch. This rocket has not yet reached low Earth orbit as of 2022, but Elon thinks he can get it to Mars in the next three years, and he could be right. He has been talking about going straight from the first successful landing into primitive missions to Mars which could mean as early as 2027. But right now, Elon seems to be gunning hard for people to be on Mars no later than 2030. Elon recently stated in a message on Twitter that he anticipates it will take between 20 and 30 years after the initial human arrival to reach a degree of self-sufficiency. Nevertheless, he is also basing his prediction on an astonishing population increase. We would need to deploy 1 million people on Mars in order to meet Elon Musk's predictions for when we could get there, and our plan would need to transfer an average of 100 people every two to three decades. So, what exactly does this imply for the competition in space? China may be successful given that they have made it obvious they are in it to win it, and have an amazing track record in space exploration. If NASA and SpaceX intend to keep their current position as leaders in the competition to colonize Mars, they have a lot of work ahead of them. Watching these two nations, slash companies, battle against one another over the next few years as they each work to create a permanent human presence on Mars will be fascinating. Who do you anticipate will come out on top in this new space race? We are excited about the future of humanity and our continued planet exploration. Tell us in the comments what you think about SpaceX and China going after the same planet.